Hello, my name is Eberhard Greta and this is a quick tour of SourceTrail. SourceTrail is a cross-platform source explorer for C, C++ and Java. It's made to help software engineers navigate and understand an existing code base. If you want to know more about why we built SourceTrail, please have a look at our blog. Like me, you might also have worked on a big code base before. And when doing that, you constantly have to read what's already there. It turns out this is a bigger problem in software engineering. Software developers spend more time on reading source code than on writing new one. To better help developers on the reading task, we built SourceTrail. After creating a project, SourceTrail will first index all source files. That way it knows about all classes, functions and types used within your codebase. The indexing is done completely offline and after it's fully finished once, you will only need to refresh changed files. SourceTrail's user interface consists of three main components, the search bar, the graph visualization and the code view. Use the search bar to find any symbol throughout the whole codebase. It supports fuzzy matching, so you just need to enter parts of the name or starting letters. I just activated the method tic-tic-toe run. Now the graph view is showing us an overview of that symbol's relationships to other symbols. Classes and types are in gray. Methods and functions are in yellow. Fields and variables are in blue. What I can easily see here now is that the method run is only called once by the function main. Clicking on this call edge will show me where in the code view. You can also see that two fields of tic-tac-toe are being accessed. Clicking on the edge shows me where. Classes can also be expanded to show all of their members, or selected with a click to see all their connections to other symbols. As you might already have noticed, the position of symbols around the active symbol tells something about their relationship. The active symbol depends on symbols on the right. The ones on the left depend on the active symbol. On the top are base types, on the bottom are derived ones. The code view will always show you the definition of the active symbol on top and all references within other files below. You can extend the scope of what is shown and you can select another symbol by just clicking on it. You can also highlight local symbols that are not shown within the graph. If these snippets are getting too narrow for you, you can also switch to single file mode and have one whole file visible at once. Then you can navigate by just clicking on edges within the graph view. In case you were wondering how to integrate SourceTrail into your development workflow, we provide plugins for communicating back and forth with your source editor or IDE. I'm currently connected to Sublime Text. And with that, I can just choose the context menu action or do a control click and have that file opened in my editor at that location. I can also go the other way and activate a symbol directly from my editor. As you have seen now, the combination of our three components is pretty powerful when exploring source code. You can quickly find any symbol and then keep exploring in the graph or in the code. Lastly, I wanted to show you some extra features that can be handy sometimes. We usually only show one level of dependency in the graph, but you can extend that to show the whole call graph leading to a certain function. You can still activate edges the same way to see their location. The same goes for classes where you can see the whole inheritance chain. If you want to go back to previously active symbols, you can use the back button or just choose one from the history dropdown. And if you want to remember a symbol for later, you can create a bookmark and then later reactivate it from the bookmarks manager. That's it for me. If you want to try SourceTrail yourself, please visit our webpage sourcetrail.com, go to our trial page and download the latest release. If you also want to analyze your own source code, you will need a test license, which you get by filling in this form. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my tour of SourceTrail.